Are you serious? Did you get your morning started right? I hope you have. Get a fresh cup of coffee. Get yourself ready. Folks, is Benjamin Netanyahu going to rebuild the third temple? Is Benjamin Netanyahu going to rebuild the third temple? I've seen the blueprints. They've been released already by the Jewish authorities. Uh, the temple to scale. I've seen it. Somebody sent me an email of it. I saw, I read the article about it. I actually looked at the temple. I, I, it's to scale. The plan would be to build the third temple adjacent, right next door to the Dome of the Rock Mosque. Now, it's not the same exactly at all as Solomon's temple, nor is it the same as Herod's temple, but it would be a significant building, and it would be adjacent to the Dome of the Rock Mosque. But I think for that to happen, folks, it would require a peace agreement. The question is, how does that come about? Or does it? Let's just throw that in there. And maybe it doesn't, but I think it looks as if, according to Scripture, it must be going to come to pass. Now, we can go to Daniel and, and, and get your Bible, and you can put a marker in Matthew 24, because without question, we're going to read one verse there. But first, let me read to you out of Daniel chapter 9. And I'll begin reading at verse 20. Um, four, seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Folks, without question, that verse is referring to Jesus Christ, the Messiah of the world, giving his life on the cross, the sacrifice for sin. It is he who finished the transgression. There's no question. It is he that made an end of sins. For even John said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. It is he that brought reconciliation for iniquity. It is Jesus that brings everlasting righteousness. It is Christ who is able to seal up the vision and the prophecy and to anoint the most holy, of course, himself, Jesus Christ. The Father sent him, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm going to read some more, but first, let me read to you. Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has sent official word to the Arab leaders of Israel's intention of taking control of the Temple Mount to build the third temple right next to the Dome of the Rock Mosque. Rioting broke out by Palestinians on just days after he made the announcement back on February the 20th of 2012. Now, you can study more about this. There's a Jewish man who is a, um, who's Jewish, but he's a Christian, uh, Stephen Ben Danun, and he has an excellent video breaking it down from his perspective, okay? And uh, I'm not saying I believe Eric Zach exactly the way he is, but it don't matter. You don't have to have this thing nailed down because nobody does. What you need to understand is Christ is the Savior, and there is now a push. Not only has the blueprints been drawn for this third temple, but all of the artifacts have been prepared. The material is there to build the temple. They say they could, re they could build the third temple in 18 months. That's all it would take, 18 months. Just keep that in mind. They've even got 12 red heifers in stalls ready, and they can regenerate more red heifers using special DNA ability. So now, back under the law, you had to look for that special red heifer. It had to be perfect. Be red, not one spot on it, not one blemish. Well, now they can actually pre present that heifer through G uh, using DNA uh, capabilities, and they have 12 of them right now. So they're, they're, there's not a problem there. And they've actually hired Gentile men to go into the wilderness and to... You, and to cut the sacrifice according to the customs and according to the scriptures that are in the book of Leviticus. And it's, it's, 
that the Jewish rabbis cannot be out there practicing because if they do, it's an abomination under the law. Instead, they let Gentiles do it so that they can watch how it's cut and understand exactly how they should do it. But they're not the ones doing it right now. Now, my, my feeling is there'll never be a sacrifice up on the third temple even. But the, um, even if the third, ter the third temple is completed, I don't believe you'll ever see a sacrifice again because Christ is that sacrifice. Jesus Christ is and was and sh always shall be the sacrifice for our sins. But let's read on. In verse 25, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks, okay, or seven years as looked at by many biblical scholars. And that's also referred to the seven-year covenant or the seven-year uh, agreement, peace agreement, many, many people believe. But let me read on. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks. And, excuse me, seven weeks, three score and two weeks. That's 69 weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous times. And the wailing wall's there. Now, here's where I want to get to the seven of the seven-year tribulation or seven-year peace agreement. Hang on. So here's the 69 weeks. My, my fault. The 69 weeks talking about building the temple, uh, even the wall. And after three score and two weeks uh, shall the Messiah be cut off, but not for himself and for the people of the prince that shall come, um, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm, here it is, the covenant with many for one week. And that's where many people believe this is a one, a, a one seven-year peace agreement, confirming the covenant for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the obl oblation to cease, for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. That's where I don't think there will be any more sacrifices on that uh, temple mount. But I do see the third temple being built because it talks about Jesus said this. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, Jesus said this. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet uh, stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. So here Jesus is talking about the abomination of desolation. He, so he's referring to a time when the Antichrist would walk into the temple of God and declare before the worshipers of God that he is God. And you can find that in Thessalonians. So with that in mind, Daniel talks about the building of the temple and a seven-year covenant or seven-year agreement. Jesus refers to the abomination of desolation that would happen at the temple. And it's Paul who writes in Thessalonians what that abomination is. It's the Antichrist walking into the temple. Well, how close are we? I just told you. We're 18 months away at any moment from building it. Does it require a peace agreement first before it's built? Does it require it built before a peace agreement? Does it require a peace agreement that includes building it, but giving away part of Jerusalem, maybe even half, which would be part of what Zeph, uh, Zach, Zechariah says? We just don't know, and there's no use setting up here and telling you we got it all exactly figured out. But I can tell you one thing, you can see the signs. And folks, I've been preaching to you that look and see the signs. Jesus was asking the signs. He said this was one of the signs. My question is, how close are you to realizing that we're running out of time and you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. And if you want to do that today, send me a personal message. Title it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Is Netanyahu going to do it? Will the agreement be signed? Will the temple be built? Is Christ coming back? Are you saved? 
Send me a personal message right now. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. 